Hello, Nerdy Librarian here, bringing you another bonus content video. This is going to be the follow-up to Gone Fishing 1. This is going to be Gone Fishing 2. Another bonus content video solely focused on fishing, trying to work through these quests and hopefully get a better fishing rod so I can start fishing up some even better loot, some even better stuff in the future. Because there's some stuff on that list that I really want. So I have three quests that I'm looking at today. Stocking up, caught in the rain, and no contest. Now, I realized something on uh, caught in the rain. There's a reason why you have, why you ought to uh, read things. And it's because <laughs> what I had failed to read during the end of that episode, the, um, the lucky fishing hat, actually causes rainstorms to occur when fishing at temperate lakes and streams. Which means that I can complete that fairly easily. Now also, I need to obtain three catfish for Veda and Dragon Bridge, as well as talk to Brutius in Morthal about a fishing competition, about a fishing contest. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with that, but I'm also going to wear the lucky fishing hat and see how that goes. Yeah, so how's that look on Felix? Oh, oh boy. Ooh. Eh, it's not a bad look. It goes well with the armor. Alright, Brutus, where are you? Birds are informing the dawn guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Ritham. Ah, yes, there he is. On the dock here. Let's hear it. Make it quick. I'm here for the fishing contest. Are you ready yeah. to begin? Shall I make a wager? How there? much? Oh man, a hundred, five hundred, or a thousand gold. Oh man, um. So the content plan this obviously would be a thousand. A hundred would be wimpy, so I'm gonna go five hundred. The coin always greases the wheels. Where shall we hold the content? Here's where you need to go. Okay, so he's given me a fishing fishing spot to go, which is down this way. He's run off to that. So you know what? I'm just going to parkour. It's not going well. Parkour is not going well for this. But good news, should easily make it to the fishing spot, which it appears is down this way. Is it on the center island here? Is that where this is? No, it's, it's on the edge here. Okay. So I need, need to wait for him. What was that? This is a surprise. <laughs> Oh, okay. Not okay. Really not okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you go into quests blind. Like, you have no idea what's happening. So, yeah, the lucky fishing hat obviously is not going to do me any good here. It's not going to do me any favors. Sadly. Um, let's see here. Ah, hide helmet of major archery. Okay. So, apparently, they have this set up as an ambush to uh, basically murder me in game. Did not know that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, really? I have to stand here. Never should have come. Never. Oh, I'm still. I'm playing this on legendary. Why is this a thing? Oh man. Yep, they're just uh, launching fireballs my way. And the problem with Morthal is there aren't really a lot of places that you can gain the upper hand on them. 
which is a real shame. Yeah, I can see them over there. They're they're coming after me. And there's a g g g g g ghost ghost next to Kunstog ruins, which there isn't much to this place. It's really what you just what you see in front of you. I I think it's actually I don't know what this place is for. But there is a chest here, so let's go ahead and pick the lock on that, and we can deal with the uh, ambushers in good time. Ooh, gold diamond necklace, yes, excellent. Let's make that cannon by quick saving that, and then... So there are... There were three total ambushers, I think. However, I think that number has maybe dwindled by one, it looks like. I don't know if they ran into uh, some rogue mud crabs, maybe. I mean, look, if I can get eyes on, if I can see them. No way that was going to hit. Just wanted to spook them a little bit. Okay, I can see the one there. Keep missing. How much arrow drop is on this, I wonder? Okay, that hit Bandit Marauder, though. That's. That is less than ideal. It's a Bandit Marauder. Also, uh, controller decided to conk out. Bad time for that. Yeah. So they're bandits, huh? Interesting. Well, I'm glad I didn't go for the big 1,000 uh, gold option. Although something tells me you get the entirety of the gold back upon defeating the ambushers, regardless. Still, I, I just earned that 1,000 gold in in the last bonus content video, which is where finally well the mystery of Perth is solved so if you want to go back and watch that go right ahead yeah Perth with an NPC near uh, at Soul and Sinkhole who went missing during episode 8 of legendary playthrough Which, that, which if you want to see the events around that, you can watch episode 8 of that, or in the featurettes. Okay. Back to this. No, that's the, oh, there they are. I just wasn't being very perceptive. I was looking off in the distance and I'm like, is that a person? What is that? No, it was a tree. Oh, they dodged that. Okay. It. Oh, I bet they can heal themselves too. That'll, that would be the day. Yeah, cause they're they're magic users. So I bet I can. I'll, I yeah, I'm stumbling over my words here. I bet they would heal, and that would be worst case scenario for me, because it's a bandit marauder who can heal. They already have so much health on the legendary player. Now, if I can lure them over here... <laughs> that really hurt, Marauder. Please don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Lure them over here. Take them out with unrelenting force shout. Thank goodness for that. 
One enemy down, one to go. Should just be Brutius left. Yeah, I... Honestly, I think the et de brut joke makes a little bit too much sense here. I... Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, let's let's figure out where this uh, marauder ended up at and uh, collect a few things. Okay. Ooh, what's this Crindamore? I don't need that right now. Oh, weird. Okay, I shouted them down the hill, right? Right. There, there's just a lot of grass and foliage around here, so. Oh, think about this logically. Where would they have gone? Are they in a tree? No, they're not in a tree. Um, let's see here. So they would have been here. Went down. Already determined that they're not in a tree. See, I don't know how far they would have gone here. All I know is they went down the hill. And that's the extent of my knowledge of where they ended up at. I just... Gosh, why do I always... Why do I always lose them when this happens? Walking through all this tall grass. Almost afraid a Pokemon's gonna show up. I mean, it'd be funny, and there, and there are probably Pokemon mods out there for Skyrim, I mean. <laughs> There's mods for most things. Like, people put things in games where it's like, wait, what? Or they'll put things in games where it's like, you know, this is really fun. That might be one of those really fun things. Don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still not finding a Marauder. Still not finding where they ended up at. Which... Hmm. So either... They just ended up somewhere in the tall grass and I'm being... Very poor with my perceptive skills. Or hitting them with the unrelenting force th somehow forced them through the world, which is entirely possible, and there's no, and there wouldn't be a remnant of, say, a bow or a sword above ground because they were a purely magic user, using magicka with both of their hands, so nothing behind that I could be like, oh, I can search this because he fell through the world. Uh, so that's, that can be a little bit annoying. So, search for another couple minutes, no more than that, and then, yeah, and if, and if, if I don't find them, then, I mean, all I'm out is a few arrows, because that wasn't Brutus that got shouted down, that was a bandit marauder. Granted, they might have had some gold on them, which would have been nice, or some, some, just something nice on them that would have been worth, worth it. They didn't go down this side, did they? Doubt it. Seriously doubt it. I'll take a little bit of that. It's good for uh, alchemy. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not really seeing them at all. So, whatever. Let's go uh, take on Brutius now. What a, kind of a jerk, by the way, Brutius. You know, wanting a fishing contest and then ambushing somebody. Although, I should have known with a title like No Contest, that really should have clued me into something. Like, good job. You got me. Oh, no. Maybe that... Wait. Unless, did Brutus become a bandit marauder instead? That might.
might if so that might have been Brutius that I shouted down or maybe he just ran away who knows I certainly don't another couple of good arrows there glad to see that wait what oh frostbite spider interesting okay all right well, I'm glad they... Ooh, another one. I'm glad they took care of those. Can definitely, uh... Harvest some good stuff from them. That I can utilize. Probably at a later date. <sighs> ah, missed it. Uh, I missed that one. You know, if, if I can defeat this uh, Marauder, it is raining here, and it would be considered, I guess, temperate? I don't know. So I might be able to catch the fish that were specified in another one of the quests that I have. Which is caught in the rain. Because so I still need a pygmy sunfish, a pearlfish, and a catfish. And then I also need three catfish for Feta in Dragon Bridge. So, if I can catch catfish here and get multiple, that would be excellent. I don't appreciate being... Ooh, Vagrant Boots of Major Sneaking. Sneaking is 25% better. Oh, they're Vagrant items. Okay. So here's my question. Ah, I'm wearing Leather Boots of Pauline. So I don't really want to wear the Vagrant Boots of Major Sneaking. So I can either sell those or maybe. It, so it was Brutus that I shouted down. I'm glad for the little arrow, by the way, <laughs> which proves that I really was being, um, not very perceptive. He was just out in the open here, past this very large bush. Wow, he went farther than I expected. Brutus's journal. The method is simple. Let them think they're about to make a bit of easy coin from an old man. Look at him. He can barely hold his fishing rod, they think. I see it in their eyes. Then once we've brought them deep enough into the woods, we show them who's weak. We always do. I split our take with the others once the deed is done. Fair's fair, after all. Oh, how I wish I hadn't lost my ring. I felt true power coursing through me in those days. It came off when I had to defend myself against a hammer blow. It splashed into the stream near where we hold our contests. Maybe I could pluck it back out of the stream one day. Maybe. So I might be able to pluck it back instead. If that's the case, it is showing an arrow here. What's going on? Fish up Brutius's lost ring. So it is giving me the option to do that. I am curious about this. What kind of a ring could he have lost? And this is definitely what I was hoping this uh, Gone Fishing video was going to end up turning into. Fishing for treasures. This is just the start of that. Nice get to start with a, a ring if that does end up being the first thing that I catch here nope river Betty okay so it's maybe it's not a guarantee which I mean that's a good policy to have on it don't make it a guarantee that'd make it too easy Warlock Spring. Oh, wow. While blocking creates a ward that protects against spells for up to 25 points, health regenerates 30% faster, you move 5% faster. Boy, that's... Ooh. That's a fancy ring. That's a lot of effects on that. So, while blocking... 
So what I'm guessing that means is that when you're using a normal shield, if you're wearing this ring, it also creates a magical aura around the shield that allows you to block uh, 25 points worth of spell damage. Which, on Legendary Playthrough, I mean, it'll do a little bit. 25 points is a decent chunk to be able to block. However, on Legendary enemies also do a whole bunch a whole bunch of damage regardless so so you're going to mitigate it a little bit but you're still probably going to get destroyed if another spell comes in quickly um we'll see if i'm just pulling up junk here oh no we got a spade fish so i'm not just pulling up junk i don't know what that random tanker was there but okay so can can definitely catch some of these uh, temperate water fish which is good not if I'm fishing up junk like tankards and tongs I swear like the amount the amount of those that I've found and they just take up so much carry weight They're, why Okay, a salmon. That's not what I want. Yeah, I don't even know if I have to be wearing the lucky fishing hat to be able to catch the fish themselves. Because it is Morthal and it is rainy. Ah, River Betty. I'm, I'm going to try it and see if it helps at all. Because it's, it's already a more full rainstorm. It, it rains in this place all the time. Yeah. I'm still questioning whether Morthal would be considered temperate. Okay, I'm catching a lot of salmon. Well, caught two salmon already. If it gets to three, I'll say I've been catching a lot of salmon. I might need to move location because more fall. The salmon typically, at least in this game, I've noticed they prefer colder water. That's a tankard. The, the salmon in this game tend to prefer colder water. So if I catch another salmon before catching another fish that can be caught in the rain, what that'll tell me is this place might not be temperate enough. Either that, either that, or I've caught all the fish that are at this fishing location, and it's just junk at this point now. So, let's see. What what did I fish up here? Oh, yes. Some tankards, some tongs, and... Was it an empty wine bottle? No, there's no empty... Maybe I fished up Alto Wine? No, I just fished up wine. It's I have it right here. Okay, I can probably sell that at some point. And then the tankards and tongs will just sit here for whoever comes by. I don't know. You might you might need to run a forge. It's shouldn't be a huge deal. Yeah, no, I, I definitely want to go somewhere that's a little bit more temperate. Something tells me that there might be a fishing location here next to where Redrin's Retreat's at, to the west of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. <sighs> and there's a, a dragon that's circling right there. Why? There's no need for that. That's just unnecessary. <sighs> Gosh. I feel like sometimes there's just too many dragons. It's like, I, I get it. They're, they play a very integral part in Skyrim, but at the same time... Oh, gosh. A bear and a saber cat. Excellent. This is, al this is already going well. Oh, it's a cave bear. 
And that was sneak attack. Oh man, that can take a lot of damage. <sighs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is where the uh the water begins at. Yeah, a lot of wild creatures and denizens of Skyrim are out and about here, it looks like. Um, I'm not seeing anything fishing location-wise related here. I don't know if the water's not deep enough or what it is. That's a gold ore vein. Out of sheer principle, I'm gonna go for it and then... Ouch! I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Also gave me a also was gonna give me a disease there if you noticed a little magical effect on that, so but since I'm back here, look at that. No uh unwanted magical effects from creatures slashing me, so that's nice. So instead I'm going to head over to this river by Haunting Brew Meadery because that was Unfortunate what happened over on the other side. See if I can find a nice fishing location along here. Which they're always marked by the little fishing buckets and materials. Yes, Nern Root, I hear you. I don't really care too much. Yeah, here's one. Excellent. Yeah, salmon and uh, fishing supplies. I'm wearing the, the lucky fishing hat. Although, it's when you're fishing, so... I, I don't exactly know how this works. Will it just start raining while I'm fishing? Is that... I, oh, I can see clouds building here. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. For this. Oh, yeah, it's raining. Salmon. Okay, so maybe salmon is just a very common catch, regardless. That's that's probably the case. All, all these fish that are part of this quest are probably uncommon or, or rare. So, just gonna have to get lucky on that. Great. A river Betty. Okay. Well, this is uh, exciting entertaining. We did complete the one quest already, so that was good. That was good, but I need to catch three catfish for one person. A catfish and two other types of fish for another person. I keep fishing up salmon in river beddies. Dang it! And I'm in combat. Four enemies. This is ridiculous. What is... Said I was in combat with these people, so I can only guess that they are very unfriendly, which they are because that's a bandit chief that I just hit with an arrow. I wonder why they're just out on the road though. This might this might be a random encounter. Good news is I've got uh, guards on my side who are taking arrows. So it's definitely less good news. Oh, he fell a little bit. He's right. He's normal bandit, so can take can take them out fairly easily. Same with you. You are cowering and you're a bandit. Missed it. Oh, the guard went to do uh, combat with these bandits. Hit the chief. Oh, I hit the white run guard. I'm sorry. It was with sneak attack though, so I don't think that's going to give me a. Uh, I don't think it's going to give me a bounty for that because that was unintentional. I was trying to defend the guard and it wasn't going well. There are two bandit chiefs here, actually. Really? That is. Weird. Weird. Okay, I don't I don't want to catch the white run guard. So I'm gonna try to be careful. 
give this uh, bandit chief a bad day. Excellent. Good takedown on them, White Run Guard. Thank you for your help. Here comes the other one. He is not going to be happy. Alright. Uh, let's do some one-handed here, because I don't... I don't work with this enough. I tried to block the White Run Guard. I tried to block. There we go. One-handed increase. Got him. Steel arrow, another 100 gold, and some iron arrows. And then there is still a bandit over there, so... Let's go... Let's go take care of them. Put the sword away, maybe clean it a little bit, because that's, uh... Nope, it's not... It's not clean yet, it's... Just making a mess with this thing. I'm gonna have to polish this later. Look, look what you made me do to my sword. Thanks for... Oh. Yeah, stop trying to ambush people on the road. It's not... Not cool, man. I was just trying to fish. <sighs> oh, catch a salmon there. Okay. Oh, there was a bandit that was floating down the river. So I bet I'm going to find them. Yeah, there they are. Two. No, it's just, just one. With uh, a couple arrows in them. Thank you for those back. And I'm going to go back to fishing. Because, well, I mean, yes, yes, I know my fishing rod needs to be equipped. I wish they'd make it so fishing rods did not have to be equipped for you to be able to utilize that. I wish you could just have them in your inventory and pull them out, like, with a pickaxe. Please, somebody, make that fix. <laughs> Get to watch them float down to a waterfall there. It looks like a pog fish. Poggers. Excellent. I, I'm sorry. I make that joke every time. I don't even stream on Twitch. I'm purely a YouTuber at the moment. So. I probably can't even make that joke. I don't know. And just catching another tanker. It's excellent. I'm just enjoying this nice weather, you know, the cool rain on my face, and the sheer lack of bandits now. <sighs> okay, let me, uh... Uh, I need to release you back into the wild a little bit. Although, they're not going... It's... Although, they're not going to be alive when I release them, so... It's like, it's like you catch them and they automatically end up as frozen salmon. <laughs> Just floating down the river. Yeah, that, that'll teach you. Go back to your waterfall. Gosh, I just threw that out. <laughs> You know, something I'm wondering, actually, um, with a lot of these items that you can catch while fishing, like that wizard's ring, I'm actually wondering whether you can disenchant them. I'm going to guess probably not, but it's still worth a try. It'd be fun. That would definitely be a fun enchantment to say, I mean, I mean, think about it, what... What if it didn't have to be on a ring? What if you could, say, put it on some other piece of clothing or a shield, even? Like, I, I feel like that would be pretty good. That'd be pretty fun. Also, I'm forgetting, is, is there a fishing location in Riverwood? Near Riverwood? Probably not. I probably just arbitrarily 
warped here, like, oh yeah, I can fish, and then realizing that I can't, you know. It's not the first time that's happened. Won't be the last time either, I can guarantee that. There are more fishing bounties at Riften that I could ask about. But there's also some fishing that can be done around those parts, and I mean, I would probably be considered temperate, right? Oh, a nice little thunderstorm as well at night. Hmm. No, anybody at all. Oh, it's. That's a uh, honey side. That's a home that you can actually purchase here. Hmm. Yep. So salmon, obviously a very common fish to find here. Silver side perch, river betty. What do we have over here? We got anything good here? Looks like a couple more salmon. It. Yeah. It seems like salmon and silver side perch are the two most common catches. But. I mean, I might get lucky here. I might catch some fish that I need to catch here. Who knows? God, I've got it raining. Cyril Dillick Spaytail, good for fortify restoration, but not for the quest. Not for the quest, sadly. Yeah, you'll you'll know when it's a fish that I need for a quest. It'll, like, there will be there will be excitement involved. It's another Cyrodiilic spade tail. I don't need that. I mean, I'll, I can use it for alchemy, but I don't need it. I don't want it. Please, no, I don't. Come on. <laughs> please, give me something. Give me something I can work with, please. Ooh, that's a catfish. That's excitement. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Just need three more of those. Two for the person in Dragon Bridge and one for the general collection quest of uh, fish that can only really be caught in the rain. Another catfish. Yes. Thank you. Makes things so much easier when it cooperates. Oh, I think I'm fishing up junk now. An elven helmet, though, on junk is a pretty good start. But, I'm gonna guess that enchanted items are really extremely rare, or they're just quest rewards at this point. I'm just gonna leave this right here. Uh, and. Oh, now I have two elven helmets I need to sell. Great, thanks for that. Okay. Yep, another fishing location here. Can switch over and hopefully get some of those other fish. Or couple more catfish that'd be really nice another problem I find is that you only you can only catch about five fish at any one location and then it's all junk after that I feel like it needs to be a good mixture of fish and junk like with Minecraft you know it's like you can find a whole bunch of fish occasionally find some junk and rarely find treasure I feel like that's the way it needs to this instead of having only a maximum of five fish at any one location. But that's just, that's me personally. Okay, I got something else in the line here, that's good. <laughs> yes, another catfish. Needed that. Now if I catch one more, that'll be even better. Hmm. 
And then we'll have to see what the other two fish that need to be caught are. If I have to, I will search this up online. Okay, good. A fourth catfish. Excellent. Ah, I haven't even been to Dragon Bridge, though. Should be right down the road from Catless Farm, I think. It's still fairly decent distance. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. Why does everybody freak out about curved swords? Like, I get it. They're cool. Get some of your own. You know, it's... It's like, yeah, curved swords are cool, but... I mean... I mean, I, I don't know. Just, just a thought. Oh, wandered off the road here. It's probably a bad idea. It's also still storming in game wherever I go, which I find extremely interesting. It's also kind of, it's kind of gloomy, although, as well, though. I keep mistaking the sound of thunder for, like, wolves or a bear that's coming after me. Now watch, I, I mistake wolves or a bear for thunder, and it's not you gonna there, go well. Traveler! Over here! Never should've come here! <laughs> oh, there were two vampires? Really? Wait, why are the Vigilance of Stendar after me as well? Oh. Stop struggling. I'll give you a swift and beautiful death. Oh no, they're just they're just vampires. They're all just vampires. I'm gonna let them take me out because they made me contract vampirism. I don't know. I'm just on my way to do some very simple fishing quests. I don't want to deal with vampires right now. You know what, just for that, oh, but that'd be spawn, spawning near Broken Tire Reed. You know, I can do it. I can do it. I can deal with it. Right, it'll be fine. I just have to go this way. I can get away from, I can get away from here, fine. You know, go on a nice vacation to Dragon Bridge. It'll be really nice, it'll be fun, it'll be relaxing. I need, I need some relaxation, to be honest. I just need to deliver some catfish. That'd be excellent. You know what, I'll discover this location while I'm on the way. I don't want to go in here, because I know, I know what this place is, and I don't want to come back here till later. Yeah, Liar's Retreat, it's, you know, it's, it's a fishing episode here, fishing bonus content episode, so I'm going to say, like, I, I'm just going to drop a pun here, it's, that'd be opening up a can of worms I really don't want to open up. Hopefully you'll never hear me use that pun again, as well. And that's a bear. This is going about as expected. Yeah, you growl, hear me roar. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you get. Serves you right. I'll teach you to mess with me. I wonder if this fox is going to lead me to treasure. Like, apparently, this is an actual thing in Skyrim. Foxes will lead you towards locations or treasures. I think. At least from what I've seen. And... And it could just be... Well, no, it's not just coincidental, I don't think. It's... 
I mean, they. I think they were programmed that way, if I, from what I've heard. Like, they had to give them some sort of tracking in that, so they made it so that they go towards chests or locations, I think. So, like, this one was going towards um, Dragon Bridge Overlook, which is where I'm at right now. Also a very fun location. Yeah, cause there's always there's always a person on the cliff here. Ooh, yep, they're they're forsworn. Oh no. Ooh. They usually have amethysts on them. I don't really want Forsworn arrows and then... So any of their potential allies don't, don't see what they want. You know, don't see what happened. Yeah, speaking of potential allies, there is... There is one up here. Uh, a Forsworn pillager. So let's uh, lead him over to the cliff here. Oops. You ever wanted to go yeah. cliff diving? Oh dear. Yeah, it's not gonna end well. Bye, have a good time. And while you're uh, out of commission, I'm just going to go and search here. I don't want your gauntlets. I will search this chest here though. That's, I like the looks of that. A novice chest and it broke my lockpick. Dang it. Okay. Gold and some lockpicks, that's good. I don't need the axe, potion of healing. Yeah, there's not a lot here right now. So. But I think what we ought to do is just uh, make our way safely down this sheer cliff face. Ow! I said safely! So here's where that pillager ended up at, Flawless Amethyst and an Iron Arrow. And then at the bottom here as well, there's some gold ore. Some nice gold ore. Can't pass that up. Dink. 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 -dink. Ah, it was just gold ore. No, no gems buried in there anywhere. That's fine. And here is Dragon Bridge, known for its, well, bridge with uh, stone dragon head and that sort of thing carved into it. So you can tell dragons are very important to the lore of Skyrim. And so there are several places that get named after them, and yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. But anyways, uh, Frawley, I believe, was the one that wanted the catfish, the three catfish, so send for the Four Shields Tavern right. here and deliver them. Oh, the Feda, Feda, excuse me. Over. Feda's the name. I keep the inn. Here are the catfish you requested. Thank you. Here, this is for you. 250 gold. All right, then. Okay. Moving up in the world, going from making a gold a time for helping a girl get some goldfish to earning 250 gold. That is good. Well, yeah, so let's take a look here. Caught in the rain. Have a spade fish and a catfish. I need a pearl fish and a pygmy sunfish. So... I mean, as far as I've been told, the, the places that you can catch these sorts of things are temperate and 
in the rain. So, and I'm gonna go back to uh, another old standby location along this river, Hartwood Mill, and see if I can catch necessary items here. Uh, it's a, that's a catfish. Uh, so apparently catfish is the most common of these four fish that can only be caught during the rain. That's interesting. Good to know. It's very good to know. Yes, catfish, we were just talking about you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, but I have quite enough of you at the moment. Ooh, pygmy sunfish. Yes. Okay. One more fish is needed. Excellent. Okay, I have a fish on the line. Cyrodiilic spade tail. Did not need that. Ah, it's another catfish. <sighs> Let's try this again. Serves a look spade tail. Come on, I just need... Just need a pearl fish. Also... But... <coughs> sneeze. <sighs> Sorry about that. A little bit of dust tickle my nose there. Had such a long wind up on it too, it was just there. Oh joy. Now I'm fishing up junk, which I don't need, so here, you know what? I'm feeling generous. I'll just I'll leave some wine for you. Enjoy. I must go. The fish need me. So let's head up to Iverstead here. And behind the inn, so there's a fishing location here. And hopefully I have some more luck. Yeah, you can see all the goblets I've left here. It's ridiculous. This is one of my favorite spots to go fishing at, though. Except when it doesn't have fish. That's a bucket. You know what? I'm going to hang on to that because that's going to be another bonus content video. For anybody who knows what I'm talking about, yeah, you know exactly what's happening. You know exactly what's going to be happening with that later on. So that'll be fun. Um... You know what, I bet there's, oh yeah, I know there's a fishing location by here. So, by by the first three guardian stones after escaping Helgen, there's a little uh, hunter camp, and here at the camp, there's another fishing location, which you can I've tell that I have these parts for years. been here quite a bit as well, because of all the items lying around, troll skull, goblets. Uh, it's not tanker. Like poaching is hurting Only you, issue man. is this fisherman can hardly just every deer now, can he? talks about his poaching and that sort of thing all the time. He just, oh gosh. There's enough for all of us if you aren't greedy. Pogfish, okay. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. We know. Thank you for reminding us, fisherman. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. Uh -huh. every day now, can it? Are you reciting your lines for the authorities? Is that what you're doing, fisherman? There's enough for all of us if you aren't greedy. Okay. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Oh, he's definitely rehearsing his lines. 
It doesn't sound any more convincing now than it did 30 seconds ago. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Yarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Here. Here, take this. Enjoy. I must go. <laughs> There are probably more fishing locations around uh, this lake here. So I wonder if I fast travel to Bannermist Tower and then travel east towards the lake if I can find anything. That'd be interesting. Oh boy. Really? Again? They're always dragons everywhere every time why get get out of here no way this is a surprise so i'm seeing that things have not respawned here from what i can tell yeah no they haven't respawned here apparently there is a bandit though so what i can e i can use this opportunity as one-handed and and maybe block moment. I should have a shield in here. Yeah, I have an orca shield. Just as long as they don't have to tangle with that dragon. Come back here. Time to end this game. Uh. Ah. Ouch. Ow. Hot, hot, hot. Ooh. Okay, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to be using this, but whatever. You know what? Just adds to the effect. Just adds to the ambiance of this. Uh, potion of healing. And a couple potions of minor healing. Why not? Lock increased. Won that duel. And then what happened to the other. Oh dear. Okay. Well, oh. Oh gosh. Ouch, ouch. Hot. Hot. Very hot. Very hot. Ow. There's always a dragon here, and it's. I just have to wonder. Oh, I can search the bandit. Hey, I'll take the lockpick. Thank you for that. You won't be needing it. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a really strong dragon. I can already tell. The amount of damage that it does with its fire breath and the color of its scales. I mean, it still just says dragon. But... It's... What is... I believe it's going to be the equivalent of an elder dragon. It just keeps flying around here. It just keeps circling. It's a really cheap dragon. Yeah, call it cheap. See if I can annoy it. Come on. Come on, dragon. Come on. Hit me! Hit me! Come on. Really? How'd you hit me there? It's ridiculous. It's what it is. It's... And it's gonna continue to circle. Great, 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 great. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. I seem to be losing it though, which is a good sign, I think. Yeah. How about it? How about you go fly away? Go go bother somebody else, please. I 
I said, why don't you go bother somebody else? Don't take direction well. Ah, I've read this already. I know that. Alchemist's journal. Setting up camp near the mushroom grove. Interest in seeing what exactly is causing their enhanced growth in this area. Today I'll be heading out to see what kind of effect the mushrooms and nearby Nern Root are having on the ecosystem downstream. Okay. Bee creep cluster, death bell, and I need to be careful because yes, there is a dragon that's uh, really intent on wreaking havoc. Yeah, I can see it's I can see it's shadow and yeah, have, have fun with the mud crab strike. Just want to fish. That's all I want to do in the game. Okay, half moon mill discovered. Hey, there's a chest here. Yofton's nose. What? You can now create new items with Daedric smithing? What? What the heck? An ancient battle site was discovered near Thornflair. On the ground, an assortment of weapons and armor of the Daedra known as Golden Saints and Dark Seducers laid strewn about. It is from this site that we took up their arms and joined together as bandit companies under their names. Since then, as the only blacksmith, I have taken it upon myself to study these otherworldly artifacts. And now, at last, my efforts to reproduce the exquisite craftsmanship of these great Daedra has finally borne fruit. My mind is not what it once was. If my memory fails me, at least these notes can help the others keep the craft alive. One would be foolish to forge weapons from gold, as it is far too soft. And yet, the golden blades of the saints are nimble and harder than steel. How could this be? The trick appears to be threefold. First, the structure of the piece must be reinforced with refined moonstone. Second, the gold must be hammered into place while the gold is heated just below its melting point. Third, the introduction of the heart of a daedra to the forge when heating the pieces so it can be hammered into shape completely transforms the attributes of the metal, giving it its uncanny hardness. The process for forging the dark arm of the seducers is similar, but requires more finesse. So you must bounce shaping an unyielding ebony with malleable quicksilver. The heat applied must be very precise, or the shape and integrity of the equipment will be ruined. As before, introduce the Daedric heart to the forge as you heat the materials. So, what all is here, aside from Yoftin's notes, which I'll take? A couple of ebony ingots, some gold, a lesser soul gem, three quicksilver ingots, scroll of blizzard, and copper and moonstone circlet. Oh, this is part of the uh, Saints and Seducers update, uh, part of, as part of the Anniversary Edition. That's excellent. Can that always be found there, or is that something that is usually just randomly found? I don't know. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yep, introduce him to a dragon. That always works. Well, a Thalmor wizard. Oh, this, oh, this is going to be fun to watch. Thalmor wizard. Okay, obviously I've been spotted. I don't think the Thalmor Wizard is in combat with me, which is good. Oh, yeah, that dragon is not taking much damage at all. Ah, oh, this might take a while. No, 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 no. This is bad. Very bad. Ow. Quit that dragon. You've got a perfectly good Thalmor wizard to go up against. Oh, it's just gonna do flybys. 
horse. That's, that's just it. If this dragon would just come in for a landing somewhere. Which... Yeah, it's definitely not doing that. And, where did the Thalmor wood? I don't know where the Thalmor wizard ended up at, but... There are some... Firebolts being... Uh, hurled over that way, so I can only assume... That there are more members of the Thalmor over there. How did that miss? Come on. That big of a target, I thought it would have at least gotten tail. Uh, gauge how much arrow drop there's going to be. I think I might have hit. No, maybe I did. The dragon just. Reminds me of that, uh, that right there just reminds me of the first Dark Souls game where the red dragon is sitting atop part of the castle on the end of the bridge. Its tail's just dangling there and you can shoot the end of it to get the, the drake sword. Kinda what that was. Ooh, sneak attack? Yes, please. Yeah, this is definitely gonna take a while. So much for a simple fishing trip, let me tell you. It's never that simple, is it? Ooh, a critical. Thank you. Ah, okay, it seems like three shots are viable, and then I can try for a fourth one, but I think I have to aim a little bit higher. Okay. If the dragon lost me, it might fly back to where it came from, and if it does that, then I might have some more room to work with here. I want to see what was happening over on the other side of this ridge line. Cause I swear there's a some sort of battle going on. What happened to the Thalmor wizard by the way? I'd like to know that too. Let's see here. So far, I'm not seeing much of anything. Aside from... Oh, gosh. No, why... I don't think I'm surviving this. I don't think I'm surviving this bit. <sighs> okay, I think I... I believe I quick saved next to the chest. I did. Good. At least I thought that for a Much worse otherwise. Much worse. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Finding finding that journal and that sort of thing says I can now do some daydream smithing. I think that's part of the new Saints and Seducers. And I. 
got to look into that. Oh, man. See, the problem is, this, this is where I wanted to be regardless of whether there was a dragon or not. I think. Hurt. Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Ah, uh, that'll be a sign that dragon is getting too close again. I, you know, I don't think there's a fishing location here to be honest. Nope, there is. There is. There's one right here, but with the dragon, it's probably a bad idea. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just going to do a little fishing. I don't care if there's a dragon near. <sighs> fine. Do you insist? <sighs> well, that's annoying. Since that's the case, I'm going to come back a little bit. Never mind, can't fast travel when they're enemies either. This dragon is really annoying me right now. There's so many things I want to do, and it, I just can't because of it. So many things the dragon's not letting me do because of here. Maybe fighting this dragon, I can, I can get that up to 80. Who knows? Dragon landed. I don't like it when it does that, because I can't do anything against it. When it's back there. Behind the trees. I think that Thalmor wizard is having a bad day. I like how you can see a little subtitle of the dragon language on the beginning of the word for fire there. Okay, why? Why are you doing that, dragon? I think it knows I'm here. Yeah, it, it knows I'm here. Nothing I can do about that, though, aside from take the dragon on in slow stealth combat, because it's a legendary playthrough. So, buckle up. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And, you know, thank you for supporting the YouTube channel by watching my videos. Um, yeah, there's really not much I can do here, because dragon just continues to circle and circle. It, like, it says it flies off that way, but I don't, I don't believe that for a second. I really don't.
But, I mean, if it'll let me, I'm... No, I don't want the Falmer arrows. Nice try. I want to fish. And it's actually going to let me this time. Maybe I can catch a pearl fish. That would be really nice. I can turn that in, then I can see what the new forging that I found, I can, that it said I can do. Like, I, I'm honestly curious about that. I'm curious how much that unlocked. And how good those items are. Because if they're really good, then I will gladly go ahead and craft some of those. Also, I like that it it's given a use a use for quicksilver. Quicksilver was a rare-ish material that honestly didn't really have a use prior other than maybe upgrading a couple items. Speaking of items, caught tongs, so either this location is out of fish already or Or I just got unlucky. Pygmy me sunfish. I just got unlucky then. But I don't need a pygmy sunfish. I need a pearlfish game. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Get your act together. You got this. Give me a give me a pearlfish. I lost my I lost my catch. What? It bit at the line for so long, only for it to say you lost your catch. I I wonder if that was the pearlfish. I honestly wonder. Okay, lantern and tongs. Bye. Have a beautiful time. Catfish. Ah, oh, don't game, don't catfish me, please. I don't need that right now. Don't want it either. I said no catfishing, please. Gosh. Quit it. Oh, this is gonna be junk. Yep, it's a flagon. It was definitely junk. Here, here, did you lose this? I, I think this is yours. Hello, anybody, anybody awake? No, I'm just gonna leave this right here for you. You're welcome. Deluxe Bay Tail, okay. Now, if you could only be a pearlfish, please. Oh, junk. A tankard. Hey, I think you lost this as well. Oh, right, you're still not awake. Got it. I'll also leave this right here for you. So it seems like fishing locations in this game are going to be at actual locations in the game. They're not just going to be... Like, they're going to be close enough to actual locations. They're not just going to be arbitrary spots. I can still hear that dragon! Gosh. Yeah, so obviously that 
right now that's been a bust. So let's head, yeah, let's head to Riften, see what the smithing stuff looks like, and and then try to catch yes some other stuff. Also talk to uh, Viria. Need something? I don't know if anyone in need of fishing work around Skyrim. Maybe you can help me. You're headed to Dawnstar. It's all in this note. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. Think you can handle it? Uh, the, uh, last time you sent me somewhere, uh, somebody tried to rob me as a bandit. So, uh, I mean... I'm always up for one of your crap dilemmas. Thanks. Good luck out there. Thanks. Letter on mud crab attacks. So, let's go ahead and read that. Crustacean extermination. That'll be saved for another episode. So let's see who this is by. Uh... Jarl Skald. Fyria, I have received multiple accounts of fishermen being attacked near a small shack on the shore west of Dawnstar by a swarm of mudcrabs. Yes, mudcrabs. No, I didn't believe it either, until I saw their wounds for myself. One traveler said that they jumped out of the sea right at her. I would like you, the foremost expert on mudcrab, to investigate. I cannot afford to spare any of my guards, so I ask you, please, find a way to rid these beasts from our shores. Jarl Skald. Various notes. Fascinating. I wonder what could be causing them to gather together and become aggressive. Mudcrab are timid creatures and less threatened, so something must have stirred them up. Either way, they will have to be put to rest so the, so so the shore is safe again. Shame I won't get a chance to study them. Heard they're oh, reforming oh. the Dawn Guard. Vampires. There they go talking about the Dawn Guard again. Okay, so going to a blacksmith forge. What have we got here? It's gonna be. No, it's not miscellaneous. It's not bone mold. <laughs> hmm. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. I don't think I have a high enough smithing level, to be honest. Because it was you often the notes. Yeah, because it said I had access to uh, Daedric smithing. But I think I have to be armor level 90 with the uh, perk for Daedric armor in order to be able to unlock that. So that's a bit of a shame. Like, yeah, it's kind of a shame to see a notification pop up like, oh, you can now do this and then can't. Oh well. Out with it. I won't. Okay, well, let's try this again. Here at the uh, Riften Docks. A pearlfish. That's all I need. Nope, that is junk. That's a tankard. I don't need that. Come on, game. Come on, give me a pearlfish. Please. For the content. For the content. Nope, that's a catfish. Junk. Oh, Elven Boots goes to the Elven Helmet that I caught earlier. Gosh. It is done. I won't go back to Avanshazel. I won't. 
probably a catfish. Cerulelic Spaytail. I've caught probably seven or eight of those so far. This video. It's ridiculous. I mean, there's going to be some good Fortify Restoration potions. I can guarantee that, but... But it's ridiculous how many of those I have right now. Gosh, the catfish. Why? Another spade tail. Okay, I'm I'm curious. Oh, I have ten in my inventory right now. I think I caught all of those today, to be honest, in this video. I think that's what happened. Make that eleven. All right. I won't go back. All right, I see how things go here. Man, really. I take it I'm not the only one that has these struggles with these quests. It is done. I won't go back to Like I I can't imagine I'm the only I'm the only one that just keeps catching these common fish. Also, I have to say, once you catch a catfish, it's hard to uh, not catch them. Like, I just keep catching catfish as well. I'm going to have to sell some, some of these things, too, because I just pulled up an Ancient Ord Warhammer. A second bucket. Okay, well. All right. I, I am going to sell some of this stuff. I am. Like, I, I've made up my mind. Ancient Order Warhammer I know is not going to go for much, but it adds so much carry weight. Yeah, it does 30, 23 damage, and it's only worth 42 gold, but... Honestly, I just... I need it out of my inventory, please. What brings you to Balaman today? Repair? Purchase? Hey, you seem quite proud of your work. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Impressive. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. I'll get, I'll get some for you. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. Ah. Ah, what have you got for sale? Take a look. Yeah, so like I said, let's uh, sell some of the stuff. 17 gold, fine. Um, nothing there I really want to sell. Elven boots, a couple elven helmets. I'm hanging on to the glass helmet because I got that somewhere, and that one that would be nice at some point. And it only has carry weight of two. I'm hanging on to those. Keeping the amber because I know that has something to do with saints and seducers now. And I'm not sell yeah I'm not selling any of this stuff either. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. Oh, excuse me, I, I need to use this for a second. Tanning rack for the the wolf, the wolf hide. and selling fine jewelry here. And then, can I make any jewelry? Oh no, I no, I need to create some ingots. I think first. Beautiful bomb. But anyways, that took some carry weight out of my inventory. Went from 356 down to 325 there. So that's good. No more ancient Nord Warhammers taking up so much space. Thank goodness. 
Like, that's a lot of hammer for so little gold. I Please don't take that out of context. I could have put it back on the <laughs> Come on. Give me a pearl fish. And we can keep this fishing video bonus content under two hours. That'd be nice. I could have left it behind. I could have put it back. Cat fishing. Why? <laughs> because I can. Please don't. Why not? Just stop. Stop feeding me catfish, okay? I could have left it behind. I could have put it back there. Every time I say I don't want a catfish, it gives me another one. Why? Why? I just want a pearlfish. <laughs> oh, it's it's mildly hilarious and also annoying at the same time. Gosh! Oh, I just need a pearlfish. That was a slaughterfish. Hey, at least we're getting a little variety in our catches now. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe not. I could have left it behind. I could have put it back where it came from. This might be a pearlfish. It is. Good. Excellent. And we're right here where we can turn this into the Riften Fishery. Thank goodness. Need something? Need something. <laughs> I'm wearing the hat. Oh my goodness. Here are the fish you were after. I also found your lucky fishy. You were like my brood to me. Here, a token. Thanks for that going in fishing rod and the coin. I'll put them to good use. My thanks to you. Do you think I'm ready for the next fishing challenge? Nah, I don't think so. I'll check with Veria then. Of course. Oh, excellent, excellent. The Argonian fishing rod greatly improves the chance of catching large fish when fishing. Three and a half carry weight versus three carry weight. I don't need this one now, though. I can use this one. Also, I'm going to laugh. It actually has damage amount, and it does more damage. Probably due to the harpoon-like nature on the end of it. What What am I looking at here? Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's barbed on the end of it. That's terrifying. So yeah, got a better fishing rod. This is what I was, well, one of the things I was hoping for. Okay. So, crustacean extermination is the next uh, logical mission to, or quest to do in this. But, in the interest of not dragging this video out for too long, because it is a bonus content video on fishing, and I know that people, people can only take so much of that with repetitive gameplay, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Hey, if you like if you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, watch a lot, watch the other videos on the page, uh, on the YouTube channel. Uh, hey, yeah, on that. With that, if you haven't watched the legendary playthrough yet, go ahead and start watching it. You know, it's it's very good. You will enjoy it if you enjoyed this. Actually, you'll probably enjoy it more than you enjoyed the fishing. I can guarantee that. But. You know, on that note, Nerdy Librarian signing off. Hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next one.